Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and Arlen, the Patio Gardeners. The year is 2013 and the season is season four of the Patio Gardeners. And uh, it's the middle of May right now. And Tiffany, we did something a little bit different this year, didn't we? We were lazy. Yeah, we, uh, we didn't start almost anything from seed this year. We went to a local gardening store uh, and picked up a whole bunch of uh, plants and varying levels of maturity. So uh, Tiffany, what have we got here? These are strawberries. These are strawberries, and um, you know we, we we've sort of done these before. Um, they did not live over the winter, unfortunately. Uh, we've tried a couple different. This is what our third year doing strawberries. Yep. Yep. So um, they unfortunately did not live on the winter on the patio. They didn't live through the winter uh, indoors, so we bought them again this year. <laughs> um, and they they actually take a couple years to 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 get to maturity to actually bear fruit. So these, these plants are actually like maybe two to three years old. Um, or they're runners. It only, it only takes a couple years if you grow them from seed, but most often these are probably just runners that came from a greenhouse that were sold as plants. I stand corrected. Okay, so we got several different um, strawberry plants. We have what, three, so we have six we think. Yeah, it looks like six. Yes. Here. Um, and let's see, what else do we have growing on over here in this corner? So these are... Let's start with this guy here, something we've never done before. This is okra. It's Clemson spineless okra, which we've never grown before. Yeah, we just sort of saw it at the garden store and thought, ooh, or at least I thought, ooh, this sounds like fun. I don't know. We'll see how well it does in a container. Uh, I have no idea, but... I guess we'll find out. Impulse buy. Impulse buy. Total total impulse buy. And what else do we have over here? So this is jalapeno, which we've grown I think every single every single year. And it always does really well for us, so Yeah. Of we're doing it again. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then here we have cucumber and the particular they call this sultan, but it's basically it's Persian cucumbers. Um, which we haven't tried this particular type of cucumber before. We've had really bad luck with cucumbers, but who knows? Maybe this type will have better luck. <laughs> we'll we'll see. Um, and then here we have uh, we got a couple ferns. Uh, this is an, one of them. It is an ostrich fern. This is one of them, and we have another one over here. Uh, I don't know. I've just been feeling kind of homesick, and and. These ferns remind me of where I grew up in New Hampshire, so we picked up a couple of those. Who knew? Ferns, just like this, very common everyday ferns. $13 at the gardening store, apparently. <laughs> uh, and what do we have here, Tiffany? Uh, these are bush pickle cucumbers. Um, they're a variety that's specifically good for containers, so we picked up one of these plants. Well, I guess it's a couple plants, but uh, one container of them uh, to try growing. Have we done these, this particular cucumber variety before or no? I don't think so. We did something else, but I don't remember what it was. Okay, maybe this will be our year where we actually have good luck with cucumbers. We'll, we'll see. Uh, and then what do we have in the back here? So these are our tomatoes that we picked out for this year. We have four different types four of different tomatoes. Types. Uh, so what, what's first here? We have... So these are, what are these guys? called Juliet tomatoes. The picture looks like they're like they're like grape tomatoes, grape right? Grape tomatoes. We think, yeah. So, yeah, obviously, um, not that we can claim any credit for this, but we have a couple of tomatoes already growing. Let's see if I can find one. Yep, right here uh, is one of them, and I I think that there's another one. Maybe that's the only one. Uh, anyway, so. Obviously, we can't be total failures this year because we at least have something growing already. <laughs> and then, what do we? What do we? What's the second uh, tomato here? These are called sun sugar tomatoes, and they are kind of a golden orange cherry tomato variety. Yeah. So we're trying. We're trying different colors. We're trying. Looks like. Do we have already something? Yeah, we do. Look at this. Again, not that we can claim any credit whatsoever for any of this, because <laughs> we just bought these yesterday. Um, and then this guy does not have a tag, but he is a, is this the better bush? Yes. 
This is the Better Bush uh, tomato. Again, I, th I think it's supposed to be good for containers. Yes. So we'll we'll see. Is, I think it's a larger tomato, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not like it's an itty-bitty. It's a full-size tomato. Yeah. Um, and then finally, over here in the corner, we have... Um, we got this organic... Uh, not Excuse me. Not, well, I guess it is organic, but... Um, <laughs> This, this heirloom tomato called a black rim tomato. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if this guy actually bears fruit. He's looking quite majestic, but who knows? And then we have one last thing. Tiffany, do you want to do you want to well, explain what this is? You didn't talk about the herbs. Oh, oh, the herbs. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah. Okay, so the herbs. Um, we've got, what, dill here? Yep. And then cilantro and then basil. And these guys are the only guys that we actually did start from seed this year. Uh, and they're doing well. We started them indoors. Today's their first day outdoors. We'll, uh, what's our schedule on that? In for, out for a couple hours? Is that sort of the? Yeah, so that we can harden them off before we just stick them outside. Yeah, it's like it's supposed to reach 80s today. So that'll be nice, but they're definitely not used to it. And then the last thing that we have here is um, this Okay, so I said that the um, the herbs were the only thing that we're planting from seed. That's not true. There is one last thing here, and it is kind of an experiment. Um, we had a bunch of seeds left over from previous years, and um, I kind of came up with this crazy idea of like almost like a survival of the fittest plant seed death match type uh, experiment. Basically, I took a bunch of seeds that didn't really work for us in previous years and I threw them all in this pot not all of them but like way 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 more than there should be by any right of nature um so there is like an incredible density of seeds underneath the surface of this pot um I guess we'll kind of see if anything grows and if it does maybe you guys uh the viewers can help us identify it in the comments so it'll be sort of a it'll be a total mystery um as far as what's growing if anything grows at all it'll be it'll be a surprise if you stick with us if you subscribe to this youtube channel uh you can get updates on that and of course all of our other plants um we're, we're looking forward to this year um yeah anything else to say nope nope <laughs> okay so that's it so feel free to subscribe uh feel free to leave comments uh we're looking forward to 2013